So what's up? So I, I spoke with you all a couple years ago, and I talked to you about this calling that I had in my work that I just wasn't able to get past a certain barrier. I kept feeling like I was running into a wall, and I would get my desire going, I would get my momentum going. You felt called, but that there was called. stuff that you had to do that you couldn't quite get past? And it was always something different. I just couldn't quite reach my goal. And, and I talked to you about it, and you told me that if I, if I had that clear of a... All right, so let's walk through this. So the goal is... So I, I'd, I'd rather not be specific about my goal on this, but it was something to do with my job, and I wanted to get to the next level of my work. So be really general about it. So yeah. that's that. So I wanted to get the specific training, and I wanted to get the specific job, yeah. and I tried every way I could, and I sat down with you, and you said, if you want this this bad, there's no way that you can possibly be stopped. You can't be stopped. You can just slow it down. It hasn't stopped. You just slowed it down. But when you say it's always something different, we're going to ask for the list. But what was the first thing that felt like it got in the way? It's always something to do with the process of the, the hiring process. So there's all these different processes that go through. It's a government job. It's somebody else that mm -hmm. gets to decide for me. Yeah. And that's the flawed premise because that flawed premise, there's nothing true about that. That says you're not the creator of your own reality. Somebody else is. That is the part that I have a real problem with. Well, we because know my that. wife is going to hate this, but I just, that doesn't seem to be the case. Well, I don't believe well, we know that, that I am the creator of we know, this reality. And you can't get past it. We're not saying you should believe or even that we want you to believe. We're just saying that if there's something that you don't believe, then you're right. That is a stumbling block and it will prove what you believe to be. So what we see as our advantage here is to help you find a workaround in some way. We'd like to soothe that resistance either by changing the subject or by giving you some way of thinking about that subject in a different way. So is it somebody else making decisions? Well, let me, let me tell you a little bit more. Yeah. So I did my best to let go of that desire, yeah. that goal. Yeah, you did I good, said, you know just what? not it's good okay. enough. We, we've established that. You did I'm good. Still you just yeah, angry right. about it. I'm yeah, still well, pretty pissed off. That's not right? doing the work. Not helping me. Not making me feel Because you good. get how you feel. Yeah, you get I, how you feel. And I still I'm so, feel angry. So now you have pointed something out to yeah. us that is really helpful. Can you say it or do you want us to say it? The anger that is real and understandable is happening when you're doing that thing that isn't letting what you want in. So does it follow that if that anger could soften that then something might come in is that logical well what i'm what i would like to get to is the fact that what has come in is not at all what i wanted what i it is the thing that i uh was not like pushing away and not thinking about but um it was more like something that i wasn't paying attention and stepped in we're going to play the marble game with you do you accept our silly analogy that you have a bag of marbles and that the bag of marbles represents a really big bag and lots of little marbles in it and it represents what's active in your vibration and so you've got this desire for this position that is really appealing to you in lots of ways and you don't have to describe it to us or even explain it to us it's enough that it's something that you want to experience mm -hmm. Those thoughts have not turned to things yet because you have other thoughts that are in the way of the thoughts that would turn it to things. Turning thoughts to things mean the thoughts have to all be thoughts that let it turn into things. Haven't said that before, but you've got some thoughts that would let it turn into things and some thoughts that won't let it turn into things. So it's not yet turning into a thing, but it is becoming, it is evolving. Source energy is on it. The cooperative components have been gathered. The course has been plotted, but you keep thinking those thoughts that make you angry. The anger is the evidence that you're not letting those thoughts turn to things. So when you find yourself feeling angry, so this is the marble game. It's just a piece of paper that's got a bunch of circles on it. And on Esther's circles, there are 12 circles around the edges. And then she writes over there, I am really angry because 
I've been wanting this for a long time and I talked to Abraham about it and they told me blah 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 and I believed them and I did myself to apply it and I believe that they're right about things and I want to believe that they're right about this too but I want this thing and I believe I've applied myself well and people keep getting in my way for this reason and this reason and this reason and I feel defeated I feel angry I feel that's enough I feel defeated and unangry I'm disappointed at a minimum and angry at a maximum and so anger is what you've established that you feel and here's these circles around the edge of this the objective of those is to focus on existing things that you're not angry about not taking that thing that you're angry about and turning it into something else but the purpose of this game is to find things that are sort of related to what you're asking for that you're not angry about easy existing good feeling matches so what might you say I'm earning as a result of what I'm doing is that true and is it an easy existing match what else could well, you the what else is that don't lose track of our objective here an easy existing match something that doesn't feel angry because your goal here is not to get the job your goal here is to stop the anger which is the evidence of the vibration that are the thoughts that are not letting the thoughts turn to things thoughts are turning to things nope thoughts aren't turning to things thoughts are turning to things nope thoughts aren't turning to things thoughts are turning to things nope thoughts aren't turning to things you want to stop this part of it by finding thoughts that would let them turn to things so what easy existing matches are there we know there are some I can look at the gifts that I have and how I can apply them in other ways. And that's what I did. I decided to I've learned to a lot. Teach I've instead. learned a lot. I've gained some clarity. I want some things now that I didn't know I wanted. I've found satisfaction along the way in some ways. I'm a broader person as a result of this journey that I've been upon. I think I've clarified my desire in ways that I wouldn't have done if it had just happened all of a sudden. I think that my desire might be clearer now than it's ever been before. Certainly, it's logical to me that non-physical energy is on this in a stronger way because I've been pretty consistent about wanting this for a while. I like the idea that Abraham presents about cooperative components being gathered and while I haven't seen the cooperation I like the idea that cooperative components have been gathered it is useful for me to think about the cooperative components having been gathered and me accidentally or deliberately finding a softer vibration that lets me see some of those cooperative components I've experienced this where something's looked like it wasn't going to happen and then it did. There's lots of moving parts in what I'm doing and there's lots of moving parts in this endeavor and there's lots of moving parts in the government. There are lots and lots of moving parts and it feels logical to me that I could establish a vibration that could influence some of those moving parts. I do like the idea that my inner being is on my side. I do like the idea that cooperative components are being gathered. I am feeling a sense of eagerness about seeing some progress about this I can imagine how exhilarated I will feel when I see some sort of a breakthrough I've never been one that really allowed anything to be easy for me I've always sort of wanted to work my way through things and I suspect that part of that is what this is about that I don't want to make it so easy that it doesn't feel like I deserve it or like I've earned it but I feel like I've offered enough thought about this and I feel like my skill factors are strong enough that I've established them well enough that I'm deserving of this and I feel like that there are people out there that if I could get their attention they would understand that and and I do like the idea that my inner being could be talking to their inner beings. And so now the only question that we want to ask you is, before you romped around with us this outer edge to find easy existing matches that felt better, you had written angry, disappointed angry as the center of that. But now it doesn't feel like angry. What does it feel like? Does it feel more hopeful? Does it feel more logical? Does it feel more possible did any movement happen not in the job did any movement happen in the emotion yeah it did I mean, that's the I, question I really let but see the thing is I let that one go that I really did I well if I'm not gonna get what but, is important uh, see, to here's me the thing. is that no, I'm happy and no, healthy you did. and no, the people we're standing I love on your toes. no All you right. did not let it go 
nor will you ever be able to let it go, okay. nor should you let it go. Okay. The only thing you can let go of is resistance. When you say I've let go of wanting it, that's not true because not only did you not let go of wanting it, you kept living life and adding more to it and more to it and more to it. And your inner being, you know what your inner being is emanating when you say I've let go of it, your inner being goes, ah! <laughs> because your inner being knows not only did you not let go of it, it's bigger and bolder and more wonderful than it has ever been before. You did not let go of it. You just stopped thinking about it in a productive way because you didn't want to feel disappointed because disappointment sucks. That is true and accurate. But I want something else more now. And what I want more now is I want the person I love to be healthy. And that is what I lost right now. Well, you don't the, have In the middle of that disappointment. You don't have to give up one for the other. I want the person I love to be healthy and I want that. There's not an exchange. Okay. But I want I'll one more than the other. Well, of course you do. Of course you do. But, 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 but. It's a big but. I, and I honestly, I don't, I don't like big butts. I don't want big butts. <laughs> I don't need all that. I would rather have clarity. I swear, I, that is the honest truth. Well, we then, all, we well get then, in this chair, well we then, say, but, 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 well, but. Well, I then, don't need the big You but. got some clarity. You got some clarity here today. We showed you how to reduce resistance. We showed you how to turn an emotion of anger into a motion of hopeful or into a motion of more expectation. I think the whole element of not being the law of attraction, me and my seat partner, we really both that seemed like really the leading edge of so far today. Um, it is because it's the difference between being a deliberate creator and an art of allower. Deliberate creators get so goal oriented and so determined. And in that there's an attitude so often of overcoming the obstacles or overcoming the crevasse or overcoming the lack, which holds you in a place that doesn't let it in. But there is a way of being in that mood and not tipping to the negative. You can yeah. be totally gung ho. Yeah, but then it feels blissful. Mm -hmm. Then it's, I can be or do or have anything. Yeah. Oh, when you're going to do it, doesn't matter. It's coming. It's like that and special gonna... day when you walk through the office and like five things happen that you've been waiting to happen. Let the universe show you in the easiest way you can the following things. You are known, you are loved, you are blessed and you are being supported by the energy that creates worlds. And if you can get over yourself by not needing to prove this and that to everybody and by not trying to get everybody's opinion and by not taking in all the stuff that people have made up because they haven't figured out how the laws of the universe work and just let the pure law of attraction that never deviates and your own guidance system that is always true, 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 show yourself what negative emotion means and show yourself what good feeling emotions mean and then have as much money as you want. Okay. Have as much money as you want. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next.